All right, class, so this is an explanation video for this type of percent composition or mass percent type problem. And this is a, a very, you know, sort of basic type problem. There's a lot of different, you know, little hints and tricks and things like that that I'll try to address in this video. Um, but basically, let's just go ahead and get started. The first thing in this problem that I'm sort of seeing is that we're using sulfuric acid. So I would probably, if I was doing this for the first time, sort of make some little, you know, draw a box around it and sort of remember that this is, this is what the, the compound is that we're talking about. Then it says calculate the percent composition by mass. So this is sort of, you know, the, the question that we're trying to solve here. What is the percent composition by mass of hydrogen, sulfur, and oxygen in this compound? And the first sort of trick, I guess you might say, that we should really think about is assuming one mole. So as it turns out, if I assume that I have one mole of H2SO4, that's going to allow me to basically solve this problem a lot easier. It's gonna really help out. And a lot of these mass percent or percent composition type problems, assuming one mole or assuming 100 grams, which we'll see a little bit later on in another video, that's gonna actually help us a lot in order to solve these problems. And in terms of figuring out which one you should use, really it's just a matter of practicing and, and getting used to the different types of problems and, and becoming a better problem solver. So that's the first assumption I'm gonna make. And if that is an assumption that I'm gonna make, then we can say, well, in that one mole of H2SO4, I know that I'm gonna have two moles of hydrogen atoms. I'm going to have one mole of sulfur atoms. And I'm going to have four moles of oxygen atoms, right? And so I'm just getting that from the you know, molecular formula for H2SO4. If I've got one mole of these molecules, then within each one of those molecules, I've got two moles of hydrogen, one mole of sulfur, and four moles of oxygen. Just reading that straight from there. The next step then is in terms of percent composition by mass, we might ask ourselves, what's the total mass? And to find the total mass, I'm basically just gonna add up, right, all of the different mass contributions of hydrogen, sulfur, and oxygen. And I can calculate that to be as 98.08 grams per mole. And that's sort of the molecular mass of H2SO4. And if you're not exactly sure how to calculate that, um, you know, let me know basically, and, and I'll help you out with that. But that's gonna be the total mass of my H2SO4. So now we can really start doing the calculations. So if I take my two moles of hydrogen, and I multiply that by 1.01 grams of hydrogen for every one mole, of hydrogen. This 1.10 grams, that's from the periodic table, right? So that's what, you know, right underneath hydrogen, it says 1.01 grams. So what this is going to tell me, if I do this calculation, it's going to tell me that I will have 2.02 grams of hydrogen in my one mole H2SO4 sample. So in this one mole of H2SO4, which I just assumed that I was going to talk about one mole, I will have 2.02 grams of hydrogen. Now, I can go ahead and calculate the mass percent percent of hydrogen, because that's gonna be 2.02 grams of hydrogen, the amount of hydrogen I have in my sample, over the total mass, and the total mass is 98.08. Eight grams of H2SO4, right? I'm gonna multiply that by 100 to turn it into a percent, and I get a value of 2.06 percent hydrogen. So what this represents, this is the amount of hydrogen by percent, right, um, by mass that I will have in my sample. So this H2SO4 sample by mass, 2.06 percent of it is hydrogen atoms. I can do the same process for all the other components basically. So for sulfur, I'm going to have one mole sulfur times 32.06 grams over one mole. That's a pretty easy calculation for us to do. My moles will cancel. I'll get 32.06 grams of sulfur. I can take that 32.06 and divide that by 98.08. So again, this is the amount of, of sulfur in my sample. So for the mass percent sulfur, I'm gonna take 32.06 grams sulfur divided by the total again, 98.08 grams. Oh, multiply that by 100. 
and that's going to give me a value of 32.69% sulfur. Now for oxygen, we know that oxygen basically is the making up the rest of the mass, right? So the total 100% mass is hydrogen plus sulfur plus oxygen. So what we could do is we could take 100 and subtract these two values. That'll get us to the you know, correct percentage of oxygen that will be left over. Or we could do the same type of calculation for oxygen. So I wanna just go ahead and show the same type of calculation. I would take four moles of oxygen now in this case, multiply that by 16.0 grams of oxygen for every one mole. That's gonna equal 64.0 grams of oxygen. And then again, to find the mass percent of oxygen, 64.0 grams of oxygen over the total 98.08 grams. Again, multiply by 100, that should equal 65.25% oxygen. And if I add all of these numbers together, my contribution from hydrogen, sulfur, and oxygen, these three numbers together should equal 100%. So you can go ahead and double check that, um, but that should work out. So this is answering the question in full. These would be my, my sort of three boxed answers for my different percentages of hydrogen, sulfur, and oxygen, which is what the question was asking. Um, so hopefully that all makes sense. If not, definitely let me know and I will try to clear up anything that we need to clear up.